Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Handycube. Handycube was suggested by Jens Renders and well, it looks like a Rubik's Cube, so let's explore how it works. Well, we can turn this face, and we can turn that face, and that face, etc. So what you say, see is something, well, it turns like a Rubik's Cube, it works like a Rubik's Cube and it quacks like a Rubik's Cube, so what, what is it? Uh, have I reinvented the Rubik's Cube? Well, the answer is uh, yes, that was the suggestion. However, this Rubik's Cube is special. You can also make slice moves just by turning the middle uh, part. I've done that uh, by building this Rubik's Cube uh, as a 2x2. Two two. Um, and then have the pieces, the centers and the edges hanging between the corners. And the reason that Jens Renders asked me to build this uh, cube is that uh, for speed cubing and especially uh, for one-handed uh, cubing uh, it's apparently uh, quite impractical with a Rubik's Cube to make slice turns. So with a normal Rubik's Cube you have to make a slice turn by making one turn and then another. And especially when you're doing this with one hand it's impractical. But here I show I can just make finger tricks with the middle slice and of course also with the top slice or with the bottom slice. Okay, I'm definitely not, uh, uh, well, I'm sort of a handicapped uh, Rubik's Cuber. Anyway, uh, my question to you uh, this week is um, what do you think of this uh, design? Um, is this really an innovation where you say, hey, um, this could be good for speed cubing or at least uh, one-handed cubing, so it's worth something? Or do you think that uh, this possibility of uh, having independent uh, slice moves uh, is just impeding? It's making the solving of the Rubik's Cube difficult? Or are you just saying, well, get over it, it's a Rubik's Cube, it's nothing better, nothing uh, worse? What do you think? Thank you for watching.